Hello stock traders and investors. Today should have been a great day for you as it was for me. My gain today was 3.821%. Feel great about that if you are following the top seven and others closely and you had all the same stocks that were recommended from yesterday's video, then you would have a 1.76% gain for the day. Month to date, if you are following all those same stocks also, you should have a 2.01% gain. You might think that is not that great, but it is much better than Dow Jones Industrial that is at a 3.98% loss since the beginning of the month. Year to date, my returns are 392.32% gain. Feeling great about that and setting a new record for myself always feels really good and should always keep track of your profit and loss for the year. It will help to encourage you when you are doing well and it will help you to look at yourself critically when you are not doing well and possibly change a strategy that is not working. So today, I day traded SGEN, O-R-C-L-J-I-L-L -L -L and S-A-V-A. -A. I did specifically well with Sava. That was the one I kind of locked on to once we hit about eight o'clock central time. I had a 15.1% gain intraday trading. And if you want to get those picks, the way to do it is to join our Patreon down below. You get those early in the morning. Those come in super early. There are lots of them and they come kind of fast and they tend to be very good. And I like to use Webull for my intraday trading. The reason why I do is because I can trade as early as 3 a.m. and as late as 7 p.m. at night central time. And I like that. Also like how I can open short positions in after hours and pre-market and close short positions in after hours and pre-market, which a lot of brokers don't let you do. So I have some shorts that I closed today early on. And the reason being is because the market was so far up, I didn't want to spend any time chasing these stocks. And so I closed my short into VRM. I closed it for a 6.2% gain. I closed SPRO for a 1.3% gain. And I closed AZEK for a 0.2% gain. So a small gain on that, I had a bigger gain, but I had to chase it kind of to close it down. Today, I had a lot of sales on my top seven list that I need to go through. I sold RCUS for a 7.9% gain. Very good stock. Very good return. The next one, not so great. Sold GOGO that did not do well. Sold it for a 3.2% loss. Then I sold GIGM for a 7.5% loss. I really thought that one would do better. It had great insider activity, but it just, <laughs> all it did was go down. And so I needed to cut my losses and move on. I did today, however, and I should have done it earlier in the day. I sold KALA, which is a PDUFA run-up stock. But today, analyst target got totally lowered on this. It used to be $21 a share. It got lowered all the way down to $10 a share. It's hard for a PDUFA run-up to run up to an analyst target if the analyst target isn't very high. And so that was the reason why I decided to sell that. I sold it for a 14% loss which was not good. I sold ODT today for a 1.7% gain. I was really happy to see that one turn around and get up high enough to where I could sell it and get out with a small gain. It was pretty good and I felt really good about that. I do a lot of work for this list. If you could do me a huge favor and please hit that most amazing and wonderful like button. It helps our channel out very much and I very much appreciate it. Okay, well, let's just get to the top seven because we have so much to cover and there's so much going on. And let's start with the others. The first is XRX. And today it finished up 0.73%, so a small gain. My average in it's $19.10. Hopefully you have a good average in it also. If you're not in it, if you are looking for a good stock, I think this one has much to go. The thing I like about it is the Icon partners have really been buying up shares and doing quite a bit of it and have been spending a lot of money. And this latest round was pretty good. The only thing I don't like a little bit is that they just had a CFO turnover. But, you know, the CEO is very much in control of this company and it's a very large department. So I think it's fine. It's not that big a deal. They have someone already in place, so that's good. The next is BRY. And so this is brand new to the list. Today it finished up 13.69%. Now the reason why I don't have this in the top seven is because it's up already 13.69%. I was able to get in it really well. If you are not and you are trying to chase this thing, I just don't recommend that you do that. If it has some sort of dip, this might be a great one that you take a look at because it had fantastic insider activity. My average 
average in it is $3.44. Thomas Gahan has been buying up shares again and he bought some more shares. It also had today, one of the reasons why it climbed so much is it had a short sale restriction also because it finished over 10% down on Friday. And so that really helped it Monday morning along with insider activity, kind of the perfect storm, you know, for it to go up 13.69%. I just don't recommend you chase it if you're not in this one yet. It's in my list because I do own it. So I'm going to cover it. The next is ZSAN and this had a fantastic day today. The only reason why this one isn't in the top seven is because it's PDUFA date isn't until October 20th, but today it finished up 14.67%. My average in it is a wonderful dollar and 33 cents. I was able to catch those wonderful dips and I caught some big ones. Definitely. If you sold me your shares, I'm sorry about that, but I sure am glad that you sold them. Analyst price target on this stock is right around $3 a share. And so I'm expecting quite the run up all the way to October 20th. And the reason is, is now there's no worry of an offering because they just did one and closed one. So now it's just smooth sailing. Here we go. The next one that's not in the top seven is LMPX. And this is brand new to the list. I am down in it a little bit. Today it finished down 2.55%. My average in it's $19.99. And the CEO and William Cohen both went in on shares in open market. And I really liked the transaction. And so I felt very bullish on it once I saw it happen. And so it is still a great stock to get into. In fact, if you bought it tomorrow morning, you'd be in it a lot better than I'm in it. And I think that this stock will move upwards north of $20 easy in the next couple of days. All right, let's get to the top seven now. Here we go. Number seven this is brand new to the list, but this is one that we've had quite a bit and I've done really, really well with this one and hopefully you have too. And that is PRTY. Today it finished up 2.71%. My average in it's $2.63. And William Kreckamur, director, bought more shares. And there has been lots of directors buying up shares on this. And I know I destroyed that last name. I apologize. Um, but anyway, PRTY is one that can really, really climb. This stock is way undervalued. And so I could see this one really climb. And at its current price, I think it's a great value for you to get in. Number six is SPPI. This has been a great stock. Today it finished up 7.89%. I just added to the list on Friday and it's all the way up to the number six spot and I'll tell you why. My average in it's $4.02. Analyst targets are anywhere between $7 to $15 and the average analyst target is $10.75. Why is that important? You might say, Ray, the analysts are always wrong. Yes, there's a lot of times they are wrong, but an analyst high target is extremely important in picking a PDUFA run-up stock. So that is a play that I use. And I have different plays and different strategies that I use. And this strategy is becoming one of my bread and butter strategies. Now, it'll always be insider activity, but I have done really, really well with PDUFAs. And so you might pay attention to some of my PDUFA picks because there's a lot of them that have had huge gains on them. Today, also on SPPI, one thing that's really kind of cool is they announced phase two clinical presentation at an upcoming conference. That's another catalyst that's coming up later this month. And I think that's going to be huge. And so there could be a double run up kind of going on situation between the phase two data and between the PDUFA date. So that is one really to watch. I think that, I think SPPI is really gonna move upwards big time. Okay, number five, and this is brand new to the list, and this is PSA. Today it finished up 2.81%. And this is one of those really super safe stocks, but they've had a lot of insider activity. It's time we paid attention. My average in it is $223.22 per share. Tamara Gustafson bought $8 million in open market, paid the same price, me you would pay and there's been other officers that have been loading up on this and I've just been kind of eh, you know PSA whatever but now I'm really paying attention because eight million dollars is something to pay attention to and I think you should too so I think there's something going on here and I'm already up a little bit in it since the time I added it didn't add it very long so you should be able to get in on a good price on this and I'm expecting it to continue to run the next is number four and this is FBIO and FBIO is doing fantastic it finished up 8.34 5% today. My average in it's $3.64. Analyst targets on this are at $8 a share, which is really important on a PDUFA run-up. Anyway, they have an October 10th PDUFA date, and today they announced 
late stage CAEL 101 study. And that's gonna be kind of big because they are now getting people in it. So I'm expecting great things out of FBIO. It should really continue to move upwards. If you are looking for great strategies and you're looking for a group to be a part of where investors help one another, I highly recommend our Patreon group that we have in the description down below. You just might check it out uh, for the small amount of money that it costs. You will easily make that back in just one good trade. You might make back six months, a year's worth. I had uh, someone tell me they made two years worth of how much it cost to be in that group on their very first trade. So it is a very good group to be a part of and you get the newest information with this list. So if an insider comes out, once I analyze it, the very first people I let know are people in that Patreon group. And so that is why you wanna be a part of it and I look to see you there. Number three is VOXX, and today this finished up 4.06%, my average at $6.42. And Kali Holding is buying up shares again, and I have had a lot of success buying shares of Vox after Kali Holding has. Between March and May, there were massive amounts of insider buying that happened, and I just kind of rode the wave on Vox, made like 60% on and off. I'd get in it, make 10% here, more insider activity. And this happened at the end of March and all of April. There would be more insider activity, bam, get in it again. And once we got to July, there was another one where I made almost 20% on it. Vox has just been a terrific stock for me personally. I love the stock because once insider activity happens, it just, it goes up. That's the only direction it seems to go. The next number two is SAFE, S-A-F-E. Today this finished up 1.73%. I like this stock because it's just really solid. And this is a great stock to have in your portfolio because over a long period of time, over the next six months, this stock is going to climb in price greatly. And let me explain to you why I think that's gonna happen. My average in it's $54.25. And if you don't already know, SAFE has had 25 business days in a row of insider activity by iStar every single business day there's been insider activity last year let's go back to last august august 2019 in august 2019 began the insider purchasing by iStar and it didn't stop until they had hit 134 business days in a row now i'm not saying that's what's going to happen this time but it seems to be that there is a pattern here and i'm just saying that if you follow this pattern to its end conclusion, we're 25 days in. This could go 134 days. If it does, the stock will double in price from where it's at right now. Mark my words. And this will be well over $100 a share stock. And so that's why I think you get in it and just ride it. 1% up here, 1% up there. The only way you mess this stock up is by selling it. All right, the next one is number one, AQST. And I know today had a bad day, but man, what a week it had last week. It climbed over 30%. Today it finished down 5.28%. There was some profit taking definitely going on. My average in it's still $5.35. I'm not nervous because I'm 60% up in the stock. So if it drops 5%, I'm okay with it. I know it's just going to recover the next day. But they have a September 27th PDUFA date on Librevant, and it's for epilepsy. And I'm believing it's going to get approved, but analyst targets on this are anywhere between $18 a share all the way to $33 a share. Analyst targets are really important on this PDUFA run-up plays. I'm expecting this one to continue to climb all the way to its PDUFA date. I so appreciate all of you. I enjoy talking with a lot of you. I really appreciate all the subscribers on YouTube out there. If you could share this video with your friends, I'd very much appreciate it. And then also, if you've never done so, please subscribe and then turn on those bell notifications so you get notified whenever one of these new videos come out. All right, let's have a fantastic day tomorrow and Raytoven out.